Hey guys and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you guys exactly how Kaigo makes his vocal chops and how you can make them sound like this or this. I've seen a bunch of tutorials on YouTube, but they always just scratch the surface and never really go deep into it, so I thought it was my duty to change that and show you guys how it's done properly. First, we need a vocal. For the best result, you want to use a dry studio a cappella without any effects applied. Unfortunately, most a cappellas you find online are either AI filtered or have effects like reverb applied. So, to make this more realistic, I'm actually going to use an a cappella that already has reverb applied and is stemmed together with the harmonies. Now that we have an a cappella, I'm gonna show you first what parts of the vocal you can use for chops and which parts you don't want to use. Usually Kaigo uses the vocals from the chorus, but in my case I figured that the vocals from the pre-chorus are more suitable to make the main vocal chops. So I only use the chorus vocals for the background chops and the two phrases. So now the next step is to put the a cappella into a plugin that can chop it up. I'm going to use a plugin called Vice by New Sonic Arts. I highly recommend you guys to go check it out. It's actually a lot more fun chopping up audio using Vice than using something like Slicex from FL. And it's really intuitive. But before we start chopping up the audio, I really recommend you to route Vice to a mixer channel and apply the processing to it. This really helps with the overall vibe and you will come up with better chops because you can already hear how they will sound when you're done. For the processing I like to use a combination of some saturation, little alter boy for form and shifting and CLA vocals. Really important here is that you set the compressor to the spank setting. This makes the vocal chops more plucky and will help them jump out of the speakers. We're going to change the form and shifting later, but for now we'll leave it on default. So let's start finding some chops. Kaigo likes to use background chops. This is usually just one chop that is repeated over and over again, playing the same note. He used to do this trick before with a piano in songs like Born to be Yours. Here for you. Or I'll wait. And now he's doing it with vocal chops. Basically, for every chord progression, there's two or three notes that you can play over the entire chord progression and it will almost always fit. If you don't know how to find one of these notes, I'm gonna show you how you can. If we have a look at our chord progression here, you can see that there are two notes that are in three of the four chords, and that's D and F. Those are the two notes we can use for background chops. Especially the D works great here, because the first chord is a D and the key of the chord progression is D minor. Kaigo tends to almost always use the note that's also the key of the song. If we have a look at the chord progression of I'll Wait, which is in C sharp major, we can see that he also used the C sharp note for the background piano. And just to show you how it sounds, I'm gonna load up a saw wave and play the two notes over the drop. That's the D. And that's the F. You can hear that they pretty much fit over the entire drop. I like the D a little bit more, the F doesn't really fit over the third chord. Now we only have to find a chop that has one of the two notes, or we could also just pick a chop that we like and pitch it up or down to fit the notes. I found this chop here that I like. It doesn't sound that great on its own, but together with the other elements, it works really good. This chop already has the pitch of D. If I want to, I could also pitch it up 3 semitones to an F. But I like it more on the D, so I'll go with the natural pitch of the vocal. Next, we're coming to the main vocal chops. And I wanna be honest with you. There's no trick to make catchy vocal chops. I know you hate to hear it, but you just have to jam around and find some chops that you like and make sense together. The only tip I can give you here is to keep it simple and use a lot of repetition. If you look at the chops here, I only used four different chops together with two phrases from the chorus vocal. Also another tip, sometimes when we work on music, a melody suddenly pops up in our head. And often you don't have all the notes in the vocal chops to play the melody. So one thing you could do is just pitching some chops up or down to make them fit the melody you have in your head. And I also recommend you to change the points where the vocal was automatically chopped. Some words can have really sharp sounds like an S or a T at the beginning, which you don't want to use.
Now, when you found some chops that work well together, you can spice things up a little bit more. For example, you can pan some chops left or right to create a nice stereo image. You can either do this directly in Vice by using the pan knob here, or you can also duplicate Vice, copy the chops you want to pan and then use the panning knob in FL. I use the second method here. Those are the center chops and those are the pan chops. Another trick to spice up the chops a bit more is changing the amp envelope. You can make the chops really plucky this way. Like this chop for example. Or this one. For form and shifting I only shifted the background chops down one semitone and added an automation for the formants on the main chops, which makes them more interesting throughout the drop. And finally we're going to add some sidechain on our chops. I did this using fruity limiter here. And that's pretty much it. If you want, you can go really crazy here. Pan every chop in a different direction and add different format and pitch values. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I could help you understand how Kaigo makes his vocal chops. If so, leave a like or comment and check out my other Kaigo tutorials and remakes. You can find all the links in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see each other in the next video.